future. Just the future. Just watch out. Just watch out. I would say from an early age, playing flag, I never really liked to grab the flag. I always liked to tackle. I always kind of liked being physical, falling on the ground. That's when I fell in love with offense, really. And that was something that me scoring and putting points on the board and being able to celebrate is something that I always loved. In high school, when I scored my first touchdown, it's just like the love kept growing every day. Knowing how to read certain coverages, knowing how to beat certain people and certain techniques to use against that I feel like are, you know, unguardable to any position. A kid from Philly coming to Florida was kind of unheard of. I got my plane ticket, my parents came down to visit it, and I just instantly fell in love as soon as I got the plane. I was like, my glasses fogged up. I was like, this is what I need. I will hopefully say that I'm a Gator great and one of those guys that leave a legacy on this university. Kyle Pitts, to me, is he's the most impressive player in 2020. It's a nightmare for defensive coaches, and that cat, that guy right now, I, I know there's other players. He's the most impressive player in 2020. 20 years down line, they could say Kyle Pitts was one of the greatest to ever play here. There he is, Pitts. Room service. Welcome back, Kyle Pitts. Deep on the sideline for Pitts. And he makes a catch. Kyle Pitts. OK. Sometimes they're just winning throws. And sometimes they're just guys that are too good for this league. Here is Pitts. Run, young man, run. Touchdown, Gators. And Pitts got it. Touchdown. Two defenders right there. And Pitts able to rip it out of the air for the score. Trask crossing route. Got it to Pitts. Pitts is still running. To the end zone, Pitts, touchdown. My goodness. Trash going to the end zone, Pitts has got it. Touchdown, Florida. I just told you it's going to be a scary season. <laughs>